In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a physics asset for a dangling cable. In this level, we already have some nice dangling cables everywhere, but these are just meshes. These don't really do anything. So what we're going to do is add in an interactive skeletal mesh that we can actually shake around. It'll be a physics asset. Now we're going to do this using the physics asset tool, or FAT. Now let's start off inside the content browser. And here we are inside the physics assets package. Now this package already has completed versions of everything that we're going to build as far as our physics stuff is concerned. But what I'm going to do is start off with our SKM wire. And I'm just going to double click this. That'll open this up in the NM set editor so you can at least just see what it is. It's just a cylindrical tube. And if we click on the show skeleton button up here, it's the first button in the toolbar. We can see it's got just a series of bones running all the way down through it. Now I'm going to close out the NM set editor. I'm going to right click and choose create new physics asset. Now you're going to get some information you have to fill in like usual and we're going to give this a name of skm underscore wire underscore physics zero two. We'll click OK and we get the new physics asset box that pops up. Now it's going to ask for the minimum bone size, actually a series of questions and all these have to do with is the physics objects that will be applied to each bone which is how we handle creating a physics asset. Each bone, depending on a series of criteria, will get a three-dimensional object applied to it, which is kind of like a collision model. And that collision model will get constrained to nearby collision models to create kind of a rag doll. So we're going to leave everything at default, but we're going to take our use verts with and switch it from dominant weight to any weight, because we don't really have dominant weight in this setup. And we'll click OK. And here we are inside of FAT. Now the biggest window here inside FAT is the viewport, which navigates very much like Maya. If we drag with the left mouse button, we're rotating. Right mouse button, we're zooming in and out. And middle mouse, which is the mouse wheel, that allows us to pan the camera. Now of primary importance right now is the play button for toggle simulation up here inside the toolbar. If I click this, our little cable just falls to the ground. And here's where it starts to get fun and cool. If we hold down control, we can use the right mouse button to actually pick this cable up and sling it around. And really, just a second ago, this was just a skinned mesh, and now it's something that we can sling around and play with. But it has some problems. It may be a little bit hard to see actually on the video, but each one of those little boxes, which is defining the collision shapes of our cable, those keep spinning around, kind of twisting up the mesh right there where the boxes join, and that's a little bit of a problem. Also, if we hold down control and left click, we can kind of pop the mesh, and this is popping really, really strongly. It's like this thing has virtually no mass. So let's go ahead and click the stop button, and we're going to fix both of these problems. For starters, we're going to fix the problem where our uh, little cubes here are actually twisting around each other. To do this, we're going to go into constraint editing mode. We can do this by hitting the B key. And you'll notice that my mesh disappears and we can now see little tiny icons which represent all of the constraints in our physics asset. Now as I mentioned, we have our collision objects that are each constrained together and what we're doing right now is literally editing the constraints that are attaching all these objects to one another. I want to start off with bone 02 and scroll down to the angular properties over here on the right hand side and we're going to check twist limited. That'll keep these objects from twisting against each other. Now we could just click on bone 3 and check twist limited and click on bone 4 and so on and so on. But another way to do this is to just set your property in one bone and then put focus back here in the viewport and tap the C key. Notice in the lower left hand corner of the viewport it says copy properties to. Now we just click on the next constraint and it copies that property off. So now we can just tap C and then the next constraint and there we go. You got to kind of get around the little move widget there. So C, next constraint, C, next constraint. And you can just follow this kind of down a chain to make it very easy for you to replace your settings. So you can set up just one constraint and then quickly copy everything off all the way down the chain. Alright, so with that, we've now changed our constraints all the way down. Now let's get back out of our constraint editing mode. To do this, we're going to tap the B key again. So now we're just looking at our bones instead of the constraints, meaning these actual boxes that are used to control the collision model of our fat object. Now I want to improve the mass, or actually increase the mass of this. So I'm going to select one of these bones, 
Now, if we select bone one, down here in our properties, you'll see mass scale. I'm going to set this up to 25 and press enter. And I'm going to copy this to all of the other bones as well. So let's just tap C and I'll click the next bone and repeat that all the way down. And make sure I get everybody. And it looks like everybody got set. So now you can test again if we hit play. Now if I hold down control and I tap, we're barely getting any motion at all. So the cable itself is going to feel a lot heavier. So now I can right click and pick it up and it'll dangle much more realistically. And you can have all kinds of fun with this right here inside of fat. You can grab it and fling it around. It'll start to break up if you swing too hard though, so keep that in mind. Just like a rag doll will. So just to, in case you were curious, I just want to show you this. If we go under all assets and search for say Liam. Actually, let's just search for physics assets. That'll be a little more uh, a little quicker. So we'll come down here, grab physics assets. And let's see, we have the Iron Guard physics asset. Here's Corrupt Male Physics. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we get our robot. Now, this is where it starts to get cool. Just go ahead and hit play. And now you've got your little Liam robot. You can sling that around. So I'm just holding down control, and I can drag that around. Now, let's close this out, and let's talk about getting a physics asset actually placed in our level. So here we are with SKM Wire Physics 2, which we just set up. I'm going to close out the content browser with that selected. Right click up here on this central cross beam and let's choose add actor, add physics asset SKM wire physics 02. Now we can rotate this if we want to so that it dangles straight down. I'm also going to scale it, but remember to only scale it uniformly. Don't do non uniform scaling. Now, if we were to start the level, currently the cable just kind of sits there unless we shoot it and then it falls to the ground. Now, we can solve the problem with it being frozen at the beginning of time by going under the K asset and choosing Wake on Level Start. Now, however, if we just start the level, the cable immediately just dangles to the ground. And what I'd like to do is attach the cable up here to the beam. Now, to do that, we need a constraint. So I'm going to open the content browser, switch over to Actor Classes, and then underneath Rigid Body Base, in fact, let's go ahead and just close everything up. So ex expand Rigid Body Base, Expand RB, Constraint Actor. You'll see RB, BS, Joint Actor. That's sort for Ball Socket Joint Actor. Let's close this, and right up here near where we want this to dangle, I'm going to right-click and choose Add RB, BS, Joint Actor here. Now, let's tap the spacebar, and I'll slide this over so it snaps right into position with where we want our cable to hang from. I'll press F4 to open up the properties for the constraint and immediately lock the properties window by clicking the little padlock icon. Now let's expand the constraint actor properties. We're going to select the cable and in constraint actor one, we're going to click the green use selected object to plant that. Now let's expand constraint setup, come down underneath RB constraint setup, and it's going to ask for a constraint bone. We're going to select this and type in bone zero one, which is the name of that first bone in the chain. And you'll see that bone actually get highlighted to confirm your constraint. With that, we can fire up one more time. And now we have a dangling cable. If we shoot it, it swings around. We can switch over to the physics gun. And if I'm lucky enough to catch it, which can be a little tricky. Let me see if I can line up with it. There we go. So now I can wiggle it around with the physics gun and swing it. So there's a quick look at setting up a physics asset from a skeletal mesh and getting it placed in the level as well as constrained into a position. That'll wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.